everyone, welcome back to the channel. I almost said back to the Charles. <laughs> okay, <Cut. laughs> start again. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very special guest. This is my fiance Charles. I've been trying to get him on my channel pretty much since I started it, but I was going about it the wrong way. I kept asking him to do my makeup or something like that, and finally I had the revelation I need to go into his territory. So today we are trying out a bunch of crazy Amazon kitchen gadgets and testing to see if they actually work. Okay, so as I mentioned, <laughs> I placed a order on Amazon and the very first part of this video is going to be Charles trying to guess what these things are used for and also how much he thinks they should cost or how much, how much you think I paid for them. Uh, Two very different things. And then we'll also put in clips of, <laughs> of testing out the items and letting you know if they work. Don't peek. <sighs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna pull items out one by one. And I'm kinda, I'm not gonna let you see the packaging because these packagings give it away. All right. Okay, close your eyes for a second. Yeah, look, up, look over there. This is item number one. Clamps onto something like this. <laughs> and then it pour liquid in or out. Okay, so clamp it on something, pour something over it. This is a device I use all the time, clearly, evidently, a Jello strainer. And when you say jello strainer, do you mean it is for jello? Yes. Okay. Yep. It it's not. Mm. It I don't is, know what a jello strainer is. So it's called a, a snap and strain. And you just clip it onto the pot. Oh. So like it clips onto the I was pot like that, this. But onto the and sink. then you just pour the water out. So you don't even need to put the strainer in the sink. I should have had that one. You should have. This one is probably one of the easier ones. Well, so, how much do you think something like this cost? Me? I have to guess? Yeah, what do you think this costs on Amazon? $7.27. No. <laughs> this was $14.99. Ooh. All right, so you just like clip it onto the edge of the pot. This is like a little bit bigger than our pot. So it's like, uh, but hopefully that's okay. I feel like it's working. I feel like I'm also gonna have to be here forever. Very glad I got the oven mitts. I was scared to dump all the noodles into the sink. I mean, it's like holding them on, like when I put on the thing, it felt very secure. Mm -hmm. I'm really leaning it in there. Right. Nine out of 10, I'd say. What do you think? Like a seven. Seven, why do you give it a seven? For the one time that you dump the noodles down the sink and you're sad. <laughs> it would be so devastating <laughs> if you dumped all the noodles down. All right, everyone. This is item number two. This really interested me because honestly, if this works, I think I'm going to use it all the time. Something that you would use all the time. This is a pancake former. Mm, great guess, but no. Burger squasher. Uh, no, I also like that guess. You're I, on. That's a way better guess. I'm sticking with this. You're on there. a track, um, but it's the wrong track. So this is a rapid slice food cutter. But how does it cut? So what you do is you take things like cherry tomatoes mm -hmm. and you fill it with cherry tomatoes and then you put this to hold the cherry tomatoes oh. and then you like run a knife through the middle. So it would like half like 20 cherry tomatoes in one slice. Not gonna lie, that's definitely not gonna work. What is your guess for the price of this? Uh, $12. Did you see the thing? No, was it $12? <laughs> it's $12.95. All right, Charles is doing the honor of cutting the tomatoes. I feel like the odd shaped ones might give it problems. Yeah, I was really bold and I got like the biggest pack of tomatoes they had, but I also feel like 
chunk. Yeah, that that's a thick one. Uh, maybe go out. for all similar shapes. Yeah, because otherwise it is. Okay. Is that what it's supposed to look like? Yeah, and then you're just supposed to like run your knife right through there. Like this. Yeah. There's no way this works, right? <laughs> yeah, that one's already too small. I'll just push it around. Is it supposed to be things that are thinner? No, it's four tomatoes. Four tomatoes? Yeah. You know? How'd you feel? Uh, it was a struggle, but mostly cut in half. Well, <laughs> well. Uh, I honestly, I feel like that went better than I thought it was going it to. It cut it, and I didn't cut my fingers off. What would you rate this one? Um, like a three. A three? Why a three? Because. Yeah. Can you get this in focus? Mm -hmm. That's one slice. That's the other <laughs> one. User error, obviously. But so this might take a like, little you practice. You can't see where you're, yeah. you're cutting. Yeah, it's not actually that good for small batches. I would give it like a four, okay? I think maybe we need some more practice with it, yeah. but technically it does do what it says it does. Okay, this is the third product. And this I actually found last. Like it's the very last thing I added. And I was fascinated when I saw this. Is this trying to indicate something egg shaped goes in here? I don't know. How do I open it? Do I pop it off? It's an egg display stand. Hard boiled egg display stand, final guess. You're very close. Am I? It is a hard boiled egg peeler. So what you actually do is you hard boil an egg, you put it in here, you put a little water in here and you shake it up and then it pops the shell off clean without having to do anything. It's supposed to make like peeling hard boiled eggs super easy. How much do you think this costs? It should be zero dollars. <laughs> it should cost nothing. That's my guess. Okay. Well, okay. well it was $14.95. Yeah, that's just... <laughs> that's... Okay, the next thing we are trying is the neg. This... You just put a little bit of water into the bottom, like just right at the line where the cap is. You're supposed to just be able to pop an egg in there, pop the top on, shake it up. I'm really scared. Full disclosure, these hard boiled eggs are a little old and I'm just really nervous our house is gonna reek. This is what we're working with. It's like, it cracked it really nicely. But didn't it hurt the egg? I think this works. I have never peeled an egg and made it look that nice. This is just some of the extra shell, but it's not stuff on there. No like large chunks missing. I would say this works. Okay, I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10 because I think it works. Sure. 100% works. Sure. It can go wrong. And like, let's say you're using this for like a meal prep or something, okay? And you're trying to peel like 10 eggs. Is it faster to do this one by one? I mean like my egg, pretty flawless because I'm not a psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What would you get? <laughs> you should get so hard. <laughs> Look at how milky. Bro, it's starting to smell. It's starting to right. smell. This is the next item. And this is most definitely going to make Charles angry. But I am fascinated by it. Here is the next item. You can look. All right. Ooh, it's got like, do you already show them? Mm -hmm. Brushes on the bottom? I assume I can, you charge it? Mm -hmm. Can I open this? Will I break it? I don't know if you can open it. I would not. I would not. <laughs> so is there like an attachment that's supposed to go with this? Uh-uh. Okay. <laughs> Alright. But it doesn't... It's just blowing air. It's blowing air? It makes no sense. <laughs> Why? 
Okay, so I'm imagining a cutting board. I've cut shit up on it. I brush it along. It's, uh, I've, got, I've got nothing. I have no idea what this is. You were on a very close track. And then but somehow I gets think, in there and you... I think you're a little too stuck on the kitchen cooking aspect of the oh, kitchen. Oh, oh, is it just a cleaning device? It's just a vacuum for your cutting board? It's just a mini vacuum. Oh my God. And I thought... How fun would it be to have a little vacuum to swipe over our island after we eat? Just suck up all those little crumbs. <laughs> it's not dumber than the egg thing. It's way more useful. No, than you like egg it? Thing. No, but <laughs> that Lord. one had to be a little pricey. What do you? What's your guess? Uh, twenty-three dollars. No, fourteen ninety-eight. Dang. I only paid two more dollars than the egg thing, and I got a whole little vacuum. So we'll see if that actually works or not. This is a fun one. So it's like a box cutter, but it's not. What do I see myself doing with this in the kitchen? Give them like a little- Nothing. Here's an up close of what it actually looks like out of the packaging. Okay, so- It's a knife file, like for your nails, but for knives. No. Hmm. This is actually a butter knife, but it is supposed to warm up with the touch of your hand and spread the butter better. Like, there's some science in this. <laughs> I got this for you, because it's science. Okay, how much do you think the super fast butter spreader $10. is? $10. It's pretty heavy. Yeah. More than 10 dollars. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I'm kind of upset I paid this for this. Is it in the 20s? It's 1995. Well, you know. Like, I paid $19 for a butter knife. Okay, I'm trying out this butter spreading knife. First off, this is the packet of instructions that came with it. I've never seen so many stinking instructions. Like, let's just see if this actually works. I'm using Earth Balance vegan butter, which is actually pretty stiff. So you're supposed to, this is supposed to like transfer the heat from your hand to the butter and make it really like soft right away. How long have you been holding the, the knife? Just like 30 seconds, mm -hmm. I don't know. Better work better for me. <laughs> Listen, guys. I don't know that I'm that impressed by this one. Like, do I need to be like squeezing it? I'm giving this a four, not worth it. Like, I guess it kind of does what it says it does, but never in my life am I actually gonna specifically get this out. What are you That's, rating it? Yeah, I mean, what knife wouldn't do this? What's your, what's your rating? Zero. Zero? Zero. <laughs> oh, no. This is the next item. And uh, this I am the most excited about. You are absolutely never going to be able to guess what this is. I feel like I've seen this before. Okay, what is it? Oh, wait, wait. It's to pick something up and store it in there. Or vice versa, deposit it from this. Like a little cheese wheel. And cheese That's comes <laughs> shooting out. You're, you're very close on some of these. I feel these. like I've actually seen this before. So this is called a watermelon cyclone. Yeah. 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 Wait. Yeah, no, so I've you seen like this before. Look, you, yep. I'm so excited to try this. Mm -hmm. So you like roll it across a watermelon and it just it's creates not. like perfect little cubes. How much do you think the watermelon cyclone costs? Ooh, $17. Actually, it was only $11. Wow, what a deal. Put it uh, here. Oh! I think it works. Whee! That's actually incredibly easy to do too. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder. All right, this totally works. I'm giving this a nine out of 10. What, would, what do you think? Sure. I mean like this, this just works and I like that it's already like pre-cubed perfect little guys. I don't know if any of you guys have seen these, but. An egg display stand. This is actually much, much bigger than I was expecting. <laughs> How do I look? Yeah. Oh my god. 
What the <laughs> hell? Initially, I was going to get some form of like soap dispenser type deal. That's in the right area. Cool. I'll, I'll stick with that. Okay, so this is actually a tool to help making cleaning your microwave easier. You put oh, water yeah. in there, mm -hmm. and then I guess you can put vinegar in there. And you microwave it for like 30 seconds so it creates a bunch of yep. steam, yep. and then all the gunk in there is a lot easier to clean. And you're supposed to not have to use like, basically you're supposed to be able to just wipe down your microwave afterwards. You're not supposed to have to use any harsh chemicals or really any cleaners, so. Okay, this is our microwave beforehand. I purposely have let it get disgusting to see how good this thing works. So let's see. All right, it's really hard to see on camera, but it's like really steamy in there. Like it looks like she's like a volcano. Commercial, so it's one wipe and then it's- Yeah, and then it all comes off. That's what I'm freaking expecting. Freaking magic. And you know what? Oh. <laughs> that's pretty good. I, I mean, that's and one that's wipe. that's just where my fingers were. Hold on, let me, let me do this. And like, please don't come for our microwave, okay? It's actually disgusting. Yeah, it's because I never cleaned it. Yeah. Mm. 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 It's okay. What's the... <laughs> Alright, what do you rate it? Well, I didn't really use it. Let me... Did you throw that away? Yeah, I did. Five. Nah. I think I'd just use Magic Eraser. It's fun, though. Like, if you're someone who needs fun things I to think... make cleaning work for you, then 10 out of 10. I think combine the two. Magic Eraser oh, plus that. Do that and then use Magic Eraser yeah. after it's the I, magic I combo. I give it like an eight or so. I feel like five was harsh. I feel like it's branded... It's branded for kids, so make your kid do it for you. She's so cute. See? I'm bumping you up to a seven. We have one more item. I'm very excited about this. It's not even that wild, but I'm just gonna be impressed if like it really works. This part of it really works. Just like don't look at any of the packaging. You can pull things out. Is that a candle? So it's mm -hmm. just like a floating candle thing. Put water in here and float okay. the candle. Oh, it's a mini, uh, it's to make mini s'mores. That's my guess. Fondue pot. That's it. Fondue pot. It's a little mini fondue pot. First off, this design's actually really cute. Um, it comes with a, this is the part where I'm like, is this actually going to keep like food meltable enough in there? I don't know, but it's super yeah. cute. Oh wait, you didn't guess how much the fondue pot is. Ooh, it's gotta be a little pricey. $25. He thinks I have no self-control when it comes to price limits. <laughs> this was $29.99. <laughs> I, I thought it was $19. That's I have no self-control <laughs> when it comes to price limits. No, I actually thought this actually looked like nice. Like mm -hmm. it's got like this is very nice, thick ceramic, good looking wood. And I think you could put any sort of tea light in here. Right. So I think this could be fun for our little date nights and such. Right. Okay, next we're gonna try a little fondue pot. I just washed it off. I'm gonna put some white chocolate melting wafers in here. And the cool thing is that this is actually microwavable. So you don't have to dirty up a bunch of bowls, but you just kind of microwave this. And then the candle is supposed to keep it warm. So we'll see, we'll see if that works. Okay, here's our chocolate. This can actually hold a lot of either like queso or chocolate um, because I filled this like pretty full with the wafers and it's only like a quarter of the way. I used about a half a bag of these. So that kind of shows you, but it's just Charles and I, so I don't want to put a bunch of chocolate in here. I'm gonna light the little tea candle. The real test will be to see if this like keeps it from getting hard. And then it's got this little wooden base. So you pop that on there. And the fondue pot. That's so cute. And it does have two little sticks. We only have pretzels though, so I feel like we can just dip the pretzels. Cause I just want them to see how runny it is, but then they, they need to get our reaction. <coughs> okay, well, it's just gonna be the reaction of chocolate, right? Do we know we like chocolate? How long do you heat this up for? 60 seconds. Mm. 
Mm. One thing I will say, first off. Yeah. That's delicious. Yeah. One thing you will say. Ooh. So this outside is pretty warm. Mm -hmm. The chocolate itself, not that warm. You're right. Like the chocolate like was like enough, almost cold. It's, yeah, it's like room temperature. So it's somehow melted. Like this isn't going to, it's definitely not going to keep it warm because like this outside is way warmer than what the chocolate feels like. But I mean, you could always microwave it for like 30 more seconds. True. Um, so then leave it for a bit and. Yeah, we'll see, see like how long it. Job. Yeah. If it keeps it warm. Gotcha. The bottom, I just put my finger under there and the bottom feels nice and warm. So maybe it will do its job, but. Okay, I think we stand maybe corrected. This is. Why well, am I corrected? I stand corrected. Um, it's like definitely getting hotter at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Like I just dipped it in and the chocolate was like borderline warmer than I wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. So this definitely works. It did make a concerning, oh, I did crack. Oh, I did? Yeah, right there. Ooh. <laughs> oh, come on, what? Dang it. What on earth? Well, it was going to get a 10. Okay, so I don't know if you'll be able to see. Mm, yeah. Right there in the corner, yeah. it cracked. So it made a really loud popping noise. I, I said, it was oh just crap. Like the bottom. Did it crack? It did. I was about to give this a 10 out of 10. Yeah, me too. But now it literally just broke. Yeah. It's still usable though. It's actually not that bad and it doesn't go all the way down. But it's probably not safe to like use anymore. If it doesn't break 10 out of 10, yeah, then I probably can't it, recommend buying it. I'm still it. giving it a 10 out of 10 and then just, you know. 10 out of 10 for half. the initial use and then zero out of 10 for breaking on me. I'm I'm really sad actually. Yeah. So I was just sitting here thinking how fun this is. I was like, wait, this is, this is great. Like we can do a little chocolate date night, dessert mm -hmm. nights. Like we just had turned on some Netflix while we were waiting to see what the candle would do. Perfect. Maybe we left the candle on too long. No, you're supposed to keep it on the whole time. Nah. That's how fondue works. Nah. Not this fondue. Well, and I even looked up that it was microwave safe, okay? So I didn't crack it in the microwave. It cracked like later from the flame. Yeah. So actually, let me say this. The concept of this mini fondue pot, 10 out of 10, try a different brand. <laughs> Because probably, this one, probably you can call. probably find one on Amazon that's not going to crack on you, but yeah. this one cracked. Literally our first time using it. All right, you guys, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed watching us test out and unbox all these weird random Amazon kitchen tools. Definitely some hits, definitely some misses in here. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see Charles on the channel more often, let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. And that's it from us. We'll see you guys again very soon.